Hello Scorpio, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekend reading from the 28th until the 29th of August 2021. Let's get into this reading and see what kind of vibe, what kind of energy is going to be around you this weekend. I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. This is going to be more emotional kind of energy. It's going to show how you're going to be feeling over the weekend. Then I'm going to get some tarot cards out. Okay, these are also tarot cards. Um, each card is represented by an, a, tarot, a tarot card. And um, we're going to basically see what's going on around you with the people that are around you. Then at the end, I am going to get your spirit guides advice to come in here and advise you with regards to whatever is coming up in this reading. So let's get started. Got a four of pentacles coming up here, which is the open up energy in this deck. So curious. Hmm. You got a two of pentacles as well. There's definitely something going on here with regards to stability. It is about love stability. An ace of cups as well. Um, you have a decision to make. From whomever I'm reading for now, you're not sure what to do here. You have to make a decision about an incoming offer of love. You've got an ace of cups that has come up here, which says love abounds. This is somebody coming into your world. Possibly maybe you interested in somebody else as well because remember it's a general reading so you can kind of swap anything around It can be somebody coming towards you or you interested in somebody else um, You don't really know what to do just yet. You don't know. Um, should I take this person's or maybe this is even an ex I'm just I know right um, But there are people who are still dealing with the exes they it happens because if you're in a relationship with somebody it's just not like over in a day it's not you know like in the movies you know what i mean um life is real you know what i mean so with the ace of cups coming in yeah there's an offer coming in either from somebody that you know um or somebody that you've been in a connection with before i can't i keep on picking up this energy i feel like this is somebody that you already know i don't feel like it's somebody that you just met because there's this is energy coming in of a bit of history between you and them even if you maybe were not really dating like I got this energy of you not really dating this person, but there's always been something kind of going on between the two of you. And um, you're not sure though, because this may not have gone somewhere. You know what I mean? But you're not sure what to do. With the four of pentacles, you don't even know should you open up to this person. Uh, you really don't know what to do. This is two of pentacles. It says finding balance. But you're trying to figure out like, do I accept this offer? Don't I accept this offer? Is Are they going to maybe repeat something that they've done in the past again to me or is this really what i want there's just this unsure feeling about you needing to think what to do now the one thing i will tell you whenever we do see or whenever i do see the two of pentacles it does talk about the need to wait a little bit to hold on just a little bit longer because it's almost like a back and forth energy of decision making but i feel like there's some information that may come out to you as you move a little bit forward so as maybe a day or two goes by you either may know something without a doubt or you may find something out or they may say something to you that's going to help you clear that indecision that you're having so sometimes you know when we're not sure about something we just time will make you sure about everything it will reveal everything to you so let's have a look let's get another person's energy or people's energy out around you here yeah somebody's been in the cold <laughs> got a hermit coming up here which is virgo's energy as well somebody's been lonely this is a person who's feeling a bit lonely they've they've learned a lot being alone okay I, I, I keep picking it up i feel like you got a history with this person but it's so strange i don't feel like you had a relationship with them i feel like it was a thing a situationship you know what i mean and they're coming back in maybe they've you haven't been communicating with each other with the hermit card being there there they are lovers card gemini's energy coming in here as well definitely talking about connection I'm just going to put this one out there. I'll keep picking it up throughout the whole reading, okay? I feel like this could have been a thing, like a hookup thing, you know what I mean? It's like somebody that you just kind of like, like had a thing with them, you know what I'm trying to say? But it wasn't actually a relationship, you know? And they kind of drifted away after the thing and then now they, they're coming back in here, especially because the lover's card has come in here as well. Look, the two of pentacles. I don't believe it. How is that even possible from two different decks? Let's have a look and see. Yeah, they, you guys haven't been in communication. Page of Swords, they're definitely coming in here impulsively. There is definitely a person coming in very impulsively. I feel like 
because they couldn't make up their mind about you also. Um, they pull, either they pulled away, because you see the Five of Pentacles talks about that lack of, or that loss of security in anything stable. So with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like they were even undecided about what to do. You know, sometimes people do things and then they don't know why they're doing things. And then later on they go, should I, should I do this or shouldn't I do this? And when they can't make up their mind about something, they just disappear or they just don't want to face anything. But this person now has been thinking a lot about you with the hermit being there, with the lovers being there. It's quite obvious. With this page of swords, I feel like it's an impulsive move on their point to reach out with that ace of cups there. Um, I do feel like they're feeling a bit lonely or they're thinking a lot about you. They're thinking maybe they made a mistake or they want to try something again. But it depends, you know, what they're trying to try. I mean, are they just going to try come in here and have a situationship again and then drift away? You see, that could be what makes you also go. I don't know if they're going to do that again. Um, let's have a look. Let's get your spirit guides to advise us here. My goodness me, guys. I don't know these days, hey, the relationship situation in, in the world is getting complicated and more complicated as time goes by. Maybe we should just bring back arranged marriages and get finished with it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, hell no. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, they're coming in without a doubt. Look, boom, chariot card just coming in here and it's Cancer's energy as well. Ooh, I hear thunder. That's the first spring rain that will fall in my country, in South Africa. Wow. Okay. Um, death card. Yes, it's definitely somebody from your past. Um, wanting to have that reassurgence re of a connection. Something has ended before between you and them. And now, oh, it's started raining. I don't believe it. Guys, you are witnessing. Libra, you are witnessing. No, Scorpio, sorry. You are witnessing the first summer rains in Africa right now and this is it you will hear it in the background lovers card in the reverse position look at this look at this um definitely it was you guys were connecting you were definitely there was something going on between the two of you and uh because of their indecision here um this is the death card so it ended now they want to come in and have this reassur resurgence of this connection and you start with that chariot card. I gotta get one more card out for you guys just because you're wit witnessing the first spring rain in Africa, in South Africa. So let's go. Let's see. One more card out. Let's see what Spirit Guide will show us with regards to this person's energy. What are we going to see here? Literally. Let's have a look and see. I don't have no idea. Let's have a look and see what will come up. Let's see. What do we have here? Yeah, they got themselves into a little bit of trouble here, refusing to see. Uh, this is Two of Swords energy. I feel like it was their fear or their paranoia or their doubts or their, you know, uh, I, I pick up regret in this energy here as well with the Two of Swords coming up here. I kind of pick up a bit of regret coming up here. It's almost like they didn't see the truth about your guys' connection or they refused to see what they were feeling that's the kind of energy i've got and that they ignored something and went off into the distance and eventually sooner or later they ended up having to see it they may even be feeling sad if you refuse to see them if you refuse to connect to them it's like that's how their face will look you know what i mean but i feel like you're gonna have to make a decision here on your own for me the two of pentacles up here talks volumes because that speaks about you will kind of find out something that's going to help you to make this decision and um i feel it will come from them so i do see if you do not communicate oh excuse me guys i've got a hiccup in your reading if you do not um allow them to come back in i feel like they will be hurt if you put up your guard against them that two of swords energy i do feel like they're going to be kind of hurt and sad by it and at the same time um i feel like they also ignored their own feelings as well and only when they were in hermit mode that this love has started coming up and the reality of what has happened between you and them they really realized that they were actually missing you but wow there we go scorpio thank you so much for coming into this reading if it resonates with you honestly i i would say don't just fall head head over heels for them right now um allow them to show you what it is you want to see 
and then you'll be able to make up your mind. But there we go. Hit that thumbs up button for me if this reading does resonate. If you want to as well, you can subscribe. You can hit that subscription button on the bottom there. Hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss readings when they come out. Otherwise, you can miss them on YouTube. And um, yeah, they come out on a Friday for the weekends, Sunday for week weekday readings. And uh, pick a cards usually come on a Wednesday, depending on how busy I get usually with personal readings. So um, if you do want to have a personal reading with me as well, you can reach out to me. There is an email in the description box below of this video, and then I will contact you back, give you all the details, all the stuff, okay? Um, what else? Um, if you want to follow me on any of my social media platforms as well, I am on Instagram. It's I'm always been on Instagram. It's fun over there. Uh, also TikTok as well. This is a new thing. It's new. So I'm posting some videos there that I do not release here. And I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Literally from the 7th of August, I was there. I'm really enjoying it though. So you can, you can go check it out and get to know me as well. Otherwise, guys, wherever you are in the world, I am sending my love and my light into your direction. Bye.